Hey everyone, welcome to another Community Spotlight. Hi, my name is Brian Schrader. Today's topic is going to be Palmetto Creek in Lower Brunswick County. So Palmetto Creek's closest beach is going to be either Oak Island or Holden Beach. You have your choice of both, but here's a shot of Oak Island. So it is a, it's not right up on the beach, but it's close enough to where you can get there in about 15 minutes drive. So we're going to take a look at some of the uh, neighborhood features of Palmetto Creek. They are still building new in there. They are building new single family homes and townhomes. But before we jump into that, let's take a look on the map here, see where it's located. As you can see here on the arrow, it's located kind of off that uh, beaten path to where it's like off the beach, but it's close enough. It's all right off of 211. So your two closest towns are going to be Southport to the uh, east and Shalote to the south. So Wilmington's gonna be about a 40 minute drive just north of the community. So taking another closer look, here's a shot of the community. You'll find that I would say probably 98% of all the homes and home sites in Palmetto Creek are not found in any kind of flood zone. So it's pretty high and dry. They do have a, a, a couple creeks that run kind of on the side to one side and also to the north as well. So let's look at some of the figures, taxes. Uh, it's a big topic for a lot of folks. Uh, Brunswick County is a great place to get rid of those high taxes that most people are coming from. So taxes here are based on assessed value. So if you own a home in Palmetto Creek that's valued at 500,000, you'll pay roughly around $2,100 per year in annual real estate taxes. The HOA, I'm gonna break it down into two different segments. Uh, HOA on a single family home runs around $1,260 per year. And what that covers is the clubhouse, the pool, pickleball, sidewalks, the kayak launch, the maintenance in the common areas, the roads, and street lights. So, you know, that covers pretty much all the amenities within Palmetto Creek. The townhomes there are a little bit different. They're around $5,740 per year because it covers all of those features plus exterior maintenance and also the uh, the insurance, the, the maintenance and uh, the wind and hail insurance and hazard insurance on the dwelling. So this covers things like your roof um, and exterior items as well. So it's a little bit more expensive. But moving on into the community, here's a shot, an aerial. You can see some of the homes. You can see some of the townhomes. But here's a shot of their big lake in the center of Palmetto Creek. Uh, they also have the outdoor pool area, the kayak launch. But as you can see, there's still some building lots available. They're building new. They've had a couple of new builders come into this community. So you're going to see some, uh, some spec homes coming out of the ground. You're going to see some future townhomes as well. Here's a shot of their clubhouse. Inside of it, you'll find, um, well, here's a shot of the exterior pool. You'll also find a fitness center. They have uh, areas where you can uh, do a different activities, meet and greet. Uh, so here's the fitness center here. Here's an area inside the clubhouse looking out over the outdoor pool. They got a pool table. So it's a great place that, you know, functions can happen. They got a, you know, that pool table in there, parties, you can rent this out. Uh, here's a shot of the kayak launch. So you can launch kayaks in the pond. Um, which is really, really pretty. If you're looking to get some exercise, it's a great way to do it. If you look over to the right here, you'll see that they have their tennis courts and pickleball courts. They also have a putting green, which they uh, put in there in the middle, which is pretty unique as well. So Palmetto Creek is, uh, is, a, is an active lifestyle community. Uh, they're building new in there. So it's uh, you know, one of those communities that uh, if you're looking for amenities, you're looking for a lot of activities, and you want to be close to the beach, it might be a great community to fit any of your needs. So if you have any questions, uh, give me a call. It's uh, Brian Schrader with the Coastline NC Real Estate Group. We hope to see you guys here on the next community update. Thank you now.